But do you too? Do you remember my friend Joker Stone? He's an artist that came up from Atlanta to Nashville about a month ago. He came up and recorded guitars and some vocals. Today we are tracking drums. So in this video, I'm going to show you that process. We're going to take a look at the 18i20, do some gain staging, and show you the process of recording drums from my friend and artist Joker Stone. Let's go ahead on to the studio and we'll get this party rolling. It is a brisk October morning. A little foggy out here. Let's go ahead and take this trip to the studio so we can show you how to gain stage and record some drums. Today's goal, tracking drums. Joker said this would be a quick session from about eight to 12. He told me he's gonna bring his own drums for the session. So one thing I gotta do is move mine out of the way. Let's go ahead and time lapse this. Ah, coffee. Joker brought me this pumpkin latte thing. You know, it's that time of year. You know what I'm missing in my life? I need me a basic white girl. Okay, not to get all funny and stuff like that, but it's just a term and a saying, but I do need a lady in my life. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Here's the session. We got the Sennheiser we're using on the kick in. So we're putting the 57 on the snare. So we ran into a problem. We're tightening my snare mic. He was pointing up. Those are the ones that came with the Sennheisers. Oh, really? Do you like the Sennheisers? The top for the toms? Yeah. Those are general ones. They're pretty good for live and studio. We're doing Tom one. You know, like, uh, the reason why I like those Audix clips is because like, this exactly, bro. You see this? Most drums have this thing right here. Yeah. And you can clip it to the bottom and raise oh. it. Oh. This one, you cannot you can't do it. do it. Yeah. Do you hit that pad? Uh, like the kick, do you hit it on the pad, on that white pad that you have on the, oh, the yeah. head? The, yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. Your cheapest in-ears money can buy. Skull candy headphones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are great, bro. Dude, they're like 12 bucks, but they're amazing oh, on yeah. the sound. Favorite band of, brand of drumsticks. <laughs> what do you use? I use Vic Firth. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'll play pretty much any, any drum sticks. I'm a huge fan of the Carter Beaufort signature series. Oh, yeah. Just because I think it's a 5B, uh -huh. but it just really fits, or it just feels good. It's a nice weight, and it just, the thickness and size of it just great. Yeah. I usually use 5Bs, like, too. 5Bs, I mean, like, I think they're good for, like, live. But, like... I'm like a really loud drummer. Me too. So like people sometimes are like, oh, you're blind, you're loud. So they just switch like five A's or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I don't think I've ever met a drummer that is not too loud. Yeah. So right there, we've got our snare bottom using a slate ML2. You ever use these slate mics before, Joker? Never, bro. We'll figure it out right now. They're clean, they sound good. Yeah, but they're just very flat. So here's the drum routing for this particular session. 
If you might remember on my 18i20 interface, I reserved channels 1 through 5 for actual instrumentation, and the remainder I kept for drums. So here's the I.O. for this particular drum session. Give me a kick. Ready? Alright. The process of gain staging can be a quite interesting and tricky one, especially when it comes to recording instrumentation such as drums as there are so many moving parts and your drummer may be quite dynamic. Some engineers will mention that negative 12 is a good spot to be, some will say negative 18. That's where I generally like to work, but for today's session we are landing at negative 15 dBFS. That gives us quite a bit of headroom in case our drummer plays things a little bit more loudly than expected. To make things as simple as possible to understand, when you're gain staging, basically turn your gain knob up until you see your signal in the green just peaking that yellow mark. That is optimal gain staging. Alright, give me the whole kit again, bro. Tell me if you got it. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Which one is yeah, pretty loud? Pretty loud. Is that good? More? That's pretty good. It's just like super distorted. Okay, let me listen to it because I can't listen to it. Is that better? Yeah, I could give it a go. We're gonna do a new uh, playlist. Yeah. All right, so this is the real thing now, bro. Uh -huh. You got it. Um, let's go for it. Ready? Yeah. Do you need any pointers? Do you understand my hand gestures? Kind of? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, so just start, and then when I sit, when I do this, let it ring. That, that let yeah. it ring at the end. Yeah. So that we can get that. Good, bro. Sick. You got it. It's there. Perfect. Sick. All right. Any questions? I don't think so. I, I want to give you another pointer. Uh -huh. I have one question. Yeah. How did you guys just become so f***ing awesome at this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was sick. That was a good take. Yeah, that was a good Smooth. Take, bro. Felt good. Sick. On point. Hitting hard. Yeah. So you got it, bro. So, yeah. I want to make it more, even more even. So, That one, that pattern on, on the kick, uh -huh. for the choruses. Oh, okay. Okay, can you do that one? For the choruses? So do you want it still on that part or no? Yeah, exactly. The ending was perfect. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. So you want the... Because I noticed that he he was doing the uh, in the choruses like the first time. Like the first time it was put like the first kick pattern was just like... Doom, 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 doom. It was just like that. It was like straight. And then the second time it was like... Doom, 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 doom. Dun, dun. It was like that. Okay. Um, okay. Do so, want, do you want it just like the whole chorus? No, let's do it just like that. Uh -huh. And I have an idea. All right. I, like I, I got an idea now. I, I see. I see. It's because I don't remember this session. We're <laughs> back from the day, you know. Oh. And these sessions, um, 
we would like the way I would structure them. It's like I got that track, uh -huh. but I also have the arrangement ready. I uh -huh. don't remember the arrangement right now. Yeah. But we would play with the arrangement, that's why we did it like oh, today, okay. you know? Holy shnikes, Batman, look at this line to Starbucks. Testing out this 4K, four-facing camera, and seeing how much of a scrub I, I am. Say so what's up, Joker? What up? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yo, I need one of those, bro. We'll get you one. Yeah, man. We, like, we're gonna how, make... How we, much? How much is that one, bro? This was the Pro Max 256. So this was like... 1300 I think yeah it's worth it but you know what uh -huh. we're gonna make some good sales on this uh, song that we're gonna be releasing <laughs> nice. I don't know we got some army helicopters wonder what's going on 10 10 great bro Man, that's um powerful. custom made like 13 inch and then 16 inch just to be like have like this massive <laughs> do it bro it sounds awesome bro they have so much body you <laughs> think you have that groove bro that's some rock shit <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> Imagine that shit in, in the stadium, bro. Oh, yeah. In the stadium, okay, yeah, and, the, and the people, the ladies right there. And <laughs> they're fucking like, awesome, bro. <laughs> Throwing panties on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Good job, bro. Oh, thanks. We got it, bro. Yeah. All right. Now I gotta send this thing. That was quick. Yeah. Quick session, bro. We got that done in less than what? Less than an hour. Less than an hour. We set up, and then. That's what happens when you work with pros. <laughs> And that's a wrap.